Shalom, all of my sis stars and my bro stars of the Star Seed United allies and friends. I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours, Abracadabra. This uh, video is dedicated to Marcellus Williams, one of our heroes, because he took down a big demon, y'all. He he took down a high-ranking demon, for real. And what uh, the racist governor, uh, Mike Parson, did was trigger a judgment. Yeah, so we're going to be dealing with this and giving our bro star honor on this video. Um, it's a few days old, so when I speak on dates and such, you know why. Yeah, I had to put it on pause for the last mission. So I'm going to start out talking about the roller coaster ride that I was on because we went to the courts of the Most High regarding our brother, taking Mike Parson to the holy courts before the Most High God of Israel and pleading for his life. And I got so many powerful downloads regarding this because we are in the days of judgment. And these high-ranking demons that have been cruelly, violently, wickedly, evilly ruling over us, now they're on center stage. With their own center stage, that high-ranking principality that Marcellus Williams actually conquered. So let's get started. You know, uh, this morning I woke up a little after 2 o'clock and I started scrambling to find my phone to check on Marcellus Williams. And uh, he was executed. As you all know now, he was executed. And uh, I was so hurt for someone that I really did not know personally. You know, we hear these things and we get saddened by it, but I was really, really hurt. And immediately I start talking to, talking to the Father, start putting my words into the universe regarding the whole issue. Yes, all of that anger and hatred, I already put it into the ethers. Yeah, I was really, really wanting that not to happen so badly. You know, it came up in uh, my last video. We were we went into the courts of the Most High regarding Marcellus Williams. And <clears throat> so I already know why, because... Our Holy Mother explained the matrix to me in very simple terms. So, Marcy, Marcellus, Marcellus Williams is okay. He's all right, okay? Because what I heard, what came through was mission complete. Mission complete. And I was like, wow. He came into this matrix. He made a contract with the Most High God of Israel that he would go through everything that he went through because one day it was going to be put before the world just how unjust these people are and that we're basically still, you know, treated as slaves and made slaves like Marcellus was made a slave. And it's undeniable. Yeah, so I already went into the ethers with all my anger, my frustration. Because I was like, Father, please, on the last video, please don't let them kill him. But the Most High allowed it to happen. So his mission was complete, which means he is okay. And so I know he's okay. I have receipts. And I am going to show you these receipts because we have so much to look forward to. Hajatan is almost out of evil, y'all. And the Most High is putting certain things out there on center stage for the world to see, for the universe to see. And he is shining those heavenly lights. And he's going to take care of it. The scales will be balanced. But, you know, I just don't want to even talk about that wicked-ass serpent seed scum of the earth. 
governor over there in Missouri. I don't even want to talk about him. I want to talk about our brother, our bro star, Marcellus. He was a star seed. Okay, you guys, so I'm getting ready to take y'all on a magical journey. I hope you enjoy the show. And remember, this is Google Earth, so whatever you see is the truth, okay? Our beautiful Holy Mother whispered to me on that morning, and she said, Randolph, Randolph, and it took me here. Okay, so this beautiful place right here is uh, right near the fist of the Archangel Uriel, okay, in in, in Niger, okay, or a surrounding area of Niger where this magic was uncovered. And you can see where the Sahara sands are at the bottom. Yeah, and... um, Another ex- explanation in the nutshell, those Sahara sands are smart sands. They're like the sands of an hourglass, too. They're smart sands because they send nutrients um, into the waters and fertilizes the crop, but they don't come back. And now we see, now we see they're at the bottom of it. So it was downloaded to me when the Atlanteans uh, went over to the motherland and and Eden was taken down into inner earth. The Most High covered it all up with sand. And he put a specific amount. Everything is calculated. Just like I told you, evil has a calculated amount. Time has a calculated amount. With well, these Sahara sands, it was a calculated amount of it. And, um, and, and it's also smart because it regulates the weather. But I'm not going to go much into that. See how beautiful it is? So whatever you see, that is what you are seeing, okay? Now, I've shown little bits of this area before, but I found a very old video with more of the area showing. And this is the place where um, I found Randolph, my husband. Some of you have seen it before. And what are the odds? He passed away in 2016. And that is him. That's Randolph. And I said, what are the odds when there is no odds of me losing my husband and uh, going on a journey looking for mud fossils on Google Earth in, in this very small needle in the haystack image comes before me. There's no odds for that. This is magical. This was the most high uh, confirming to me that this is all a part of my my job yeah is to find all these magical wonderful heavens so now when i found randolph i immediately the grief that i had i was so broken when i lost my randolph because i loved him so much because he loved me so much because i loved him so much it was like that companionship we you know we never wanted to be apart and when I lost him you know he was just like he was gone but when I found him on Google Earth I think maybe in 2019 or 2020 then I knew he made it and it was a world surrounded by things that he loved because you see some water worlds over here And it's a lot of angels. You might see a lot of black faces on this journey. Yeah, the angels look just like us too. And so when I was grieving over Marcellus Williams, mother said Randolph. And I was like, I, you know, I could just breathe again because I said he definitely made it. You know, us starseed, I'm telling you. This matrix, we were known in this matrix by the serpent seed. The whole time we have been known and identified. They've always known who we were. That's why we had been targeted so many times for attacks. Yeah. 
A lot of witchcraft and sorcery went against us. We didn't even know it. You know, they would get into entities and send entities our way. And we were so clueless. And so we caught it. We we had to catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Get hurt. Get destroyed. Lose things. Gain things. Work hard. You know, have a ceiling over your head. Just a whole bunch of rejection. Never had it easy. It was always fighting something off. Or try just trying to survive. That's the life of a star seed. And so that's how I can identify Marcellus as a star seed. Because he was totally innocent. And he fought till the end too. And his spiritual advisor was there. Now I don't know what his faith base was or his belief system was but I know that his spiritual advisor was there so he was still connected okay he didn't Hashitan lost he totally lost that one because he could never break Marcellus he could never break him he never broke him I'm sure it was times that Marcellus fell on his face knowing that he was innocent, especially when he was, it was proven that he was innocent and all the good news of the DNA having nothing to do with him at all. I'm sure it was times he was just elated and just knowing that he was going to be set free. And then he get the news back that Satan himself Working in that damn serpent seed, that scum of the earth, dirt bag, racist. Him, he would just say no or just stop the whole thing. He just, when he got into office, he just stopped the whole thing because he's been found innocent a long time ago, y'all. But I don't want to get too much into it because I don't want to get into the angry mode. I'm talking about Marcellus. And all of the things that was thrown at him through those 24 years of incarceration. You know, he kept fighting. And he proved with us, see, you know, they say you're innocent until proven guilty. That proves that we have to prove we're innocent and they still will be unjust to us. And that is what Marcellus was facing and he never lost his connection could he have ever been very angry with the most high because of this memory wipe he didn't know he was on assignment he hadn't a clue so I'm sure he said why many times And cried out to the Father that this is just so unfair and this is just so unjust. But he still was talking to the Most High. Marcellus is all right, honey. Marcellus got a very warm welcome because of what he had to endure on his mission in this planet. He's eating that heavenly fruit that make you happy. That's the kind of fruit that you, you know, eat from eating because that's where we're going to be returning to. He got a head start. So our brother Marcellus, he's, he is kicking it with the angels. He might be riding on a dragon right now, having a ball. And so that, I know, that I have receipt of. He is receiving his karma because he had goodness on the side of the justice scale. It's like no matter what Hashitan throw at me, I will never, ever stop talking to my father. I will never, ever stop trusting in him. I will never, ever stop fighting. Until the end, he did that. And so he's receiving his reward. And I told y'all, we are very rich. We got so much wealth. And yeah, he's in a magical land. He's in a magical place. I can guarantee you that. 
He's in a very magical place, but it's a lot of wealth in that magical place too. I just found a little of it. And it's that little of it is mountains of precious jewels just sitting out there. So it's wealth there. And like I said, the food there, they said that when you eat it, it makes you happy. (laughs) Happy and satisfied. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine being in an atmosphere like Randolph and Marcellus where there's absolutely no evil? It's sterile of evil. The Most High made sure of it. He put a whole technological, supreme, spiritual security system to keep everybody out of Eden. <clears throat> so Eden doesn't have any evil. And guess what else, y'all? Every creature of Eden, all of the angels, the dragons, the glowers, the floaters, uh, the, the fairies, all of them, they loved Adam. They loved Eve. All of the animal life. All of everybody in Eden loved Adam. Adam and they loved Eve. It was not evil. It was not an evil place. So guess what? And the Atlanteans are over there too. All of them are waiting too anxiously for this grand finale and for us, the children, the offspring of Adam to return to the lands of Eden. Yeah. And we get beautiful welcomes yeah and some of us have came and gone a few times on missions here in this dimension that's not magical at all that's why if you're new to my station you probably like what in the heck what am i seeing you seeing the truth that there are heavens and this is eden And Eden is appearing upon this earth, and that's where we're going to be returning to. And inner earth. See, we're looking, we're peeking into inner earth right now. The things that was covered up, we're peeking into it right now. And that's what the Most High has authorized me to find is receipts of our kingdom. This happens to be a very, very beautiful place. And there are many, 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 many. (laughs) All of them are unique, just beautiful. Look at this, y'all. This is what we have in store for us. We're going to be going to magical lands. What's underneath our feet is very, very magical. Yeah, and the Most High God of Israel kept it all the top secret. He removed all of the magic from this dimension. He removed all the magic from this dimension. It's all functional and mechanical. But it's nothing magical about it. This place was specifically designed to isolate evil and to process it out. And it's almost over. All praises to the Most High. It's not happening the way... Uh, that I thought it would happen from what I had read. Yeah, I didn't know that magical lands and heavens would start uh, being unveiled and our glorious treasures. I didn't know that this stuff was going to be unveiled to us. I heard about heavens and I hoped in heavens and I had faith that there was heavens, but now I know. Yeah, so our brother, Marcellus, he's good. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> he's more than good he's probably once he crossed over he probably was like what yes yes and he deserves great rewards all praises to the most high if you're new to my station I know this is very strange it's a whole lot of more strange things too I have a lot of magic That I have shown. And if you could get past my corniness. And I wasn't really good at editing. Or anything like this. This station is like a. You know how a. uh, 
A homemade cake is so good, but you know it's homemade? That is what my channel is, and I started from nothing. And our Holy Mother has blessed me and given me knowledge to understand the things that I've seen, yeah, and to know their reality, and these are the things that are waiting from us, for us. Way more than these, you know, people talking about reparation and you know, a good life here. It's nothing magical about that. We have a lot of magic in store for us. The magic is real, honey. The magic is real. All praises to the Most High. Yeah, if you're new to my station and you resonate with this message, feel free to subscribe. But I'm letting you know right now, I haven't really shown uh, very much magic in this last uh, year and a half, I think. Maybe the last year, I haven't shown much magic because our mission here at Star Seed United is to fight. Yeah, and we fight in the holy courts of the Most High. And um, I have discovered Zion, and that is where the Most High marked this earth for judgment. And that's where we go to do battle against our enemies. I didn't know anything about that. I didn't, you know, I heard of Zion and all of that, and, but I had no idea that there's actually a top secret geographical location. Yeah, and the Most High God of Israel authorized me to find it. And that's what we usually do. We usually fight, but we're not going to fight today. We just going to um, honor our brother that completed his mission on this earth. No matter what Hashatan threw at him, just like Job, our brother Marcellus passed the test. He completed his mission. Congratulations, Marcellus Williams. Congratulations. Marcellus Williams never, ever lost his connection to the Most High God of Israel. Do you see that dark spot on his forehead? I had a friend that had one of those, and he was a Muslim. So my guess is Brother Marcellus Williams followed that faith. And you earn that mark by going before the Most High God of Israel regularly, consistently putting your head on the floor your forehead, no matter what was happening to him in this dimension, he put his forehead on the floor in humiliation before our father, recognizing that our father, the creator of all things, is the almighty one and had the power at any time to turn things around for him, no matter what they threw at him from the day he got arrested. And framed by that wicked prosecutor, locked up, going through his trial, being railroaded in court, he still would put his forehead on the floor in humiliation to the Almighty One. I'm sure he put his forehead on the floor begging for his life after they gave him the death sentence. I'm sure he put his forehead on the floor when he was found to be innocent and exonerated, thanking the Most High that he was proven to be innocent. I'm sure he put his forehead on the floor asking for help for his release. I'm sure he put his forehead on the floor when the Innocence Project took his case on. I know that he put his forehead on the floor right before they carried out that first degree murder of an innocent man in front of the whole wide world. You see what he has in his justice scales? All goodness. Were there times that Marcellus Williams felt hopeless, felt forgotten, felt like the father turned his back on him? 
Did he cry out to the Most High God of Israel during those times? Yes. Did he cry out to the Most High God of Israel saying, Why? Why? Why, Father? I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. But all the way through those 24 years of being on a fucking emotional roller coaster, he still put his forehead in humility before his father. Nothing could break that. And that's why he is known throughout the universe as being a starseed son of the Most High that took on a very, very awful and difficult assignment to take the brunt, bear the brunt of the evil, to take that wicked, racist, black face, demon down. I said we weren't going to fight in the holy courts today, but we are. We're going to take Marcellus's case to the highest court in the universe, the courts of the most high. Yeah, we're going to take our crowned king's case there. Yeah, against his enemies because they're still walking around in this 3D with impunity. And that can't happen. No, no. And Marcellus Williams, we are going to be eating our popcorn along with you. Watching Mike Parson go down just like P. Diddy. He's going to go down in a cell just like you had to live in for 24 years. Everybody's going to turn their backs on him. It's not going to be any help for him. He's going to be powerless. Because we're charging him with first degree murder and conspiracy, and conspiracy to murder you. Yes, and you never let go. Now it's time for him to pay. That racist blackface demon showed up. You guys, um, if you haven't watched that video when we took his case to the courts of the Most High when he was still walking on this earth, <clears throat> Mother instructed me to go back and get another image of Mike Parson. And this blackface demon showed up in the photo. Nothing is coincidental. This demon represents stereotyping, racism, uh, racial profiling, all of that. Racism at its height for people to be despising us. And even if we're innocent, they feel like we're guilty. That If anybody have to pay, let a nigga pay. Let a nigga pay. What is the psychology in it? Let me tell you. <clears throat> these are serpent seed not all serpent seed carry our identity as the people of the book these are lower level scumbag ass serpent seed and all they need is a reason to hate us and that black faced demon gave them a reason to despise and hate us it's the same black-faced demon that was ruling over P. Diddy. The same demon, his goal and his assignment is to cause people to hate and despise us. Well, he's going down in the courts of the Most High and all of his wicked followers, his servants, his puppets, abracadabra. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, you wicked evil demon. Your time and your evil has been all used up, and all of that evil is just waiting, stacked up in the justice scales. Abracadabra. The Most High um, gave us a way to fight back. And we are connected to the 5D. Um, I've also discovered Zion over by the Nile in Sudan, where the Most High marked this earth for judgment. And uh, we are led by our Holy Mother who points us, point out our enemies and tell them, tell me what they're up to. 
And she told us to go to Zion, to the Holy Courts, because it's more to Zion than just the Holy Courts. It's in the same, it's the whole geographical area. But this area right here is the Court of the Most High. This is where the Most High marked this earth for judgment. And we have been appointed to come here and bring our cases to him. So... You know, that's that's what we're here to do. We're fight. We usually do spiritual warfare on this channel. And this time in the Holy Courts, I just want to say thank you, Father, for making it available to us. Your holy and just courts. Where you mark this earth for judgment and you are the most just. And I know you're gonna balance those scales, Father. I know you're gonna balance those scales. And we are going to re reap, we're going to reap our rewards. Yes, in all of those heavenly places. And our enemies are going to reap their rewards too. And Father, I'll be so glad when you finally bag all of them up and take them out of this universe. So that we could just be connected with the whole universe and all of the love of the universe. Yeah, and all of the magic dwelling in your holy palace with our holy mother and mother we thank you for all of this guidance all of this understanding putting it in simple terms where we can understand what's happening around us and guiding us straight to zion straight to the holy courts and we pledge our allegiance to our big brother the messiah the king and God of this earth. You see how black he is? Do you see that fire and on blast coming out of his mouth? And he's already walking on this earth too. He's going to bring judgment in the 3D as well as from the 5D because he's riding in the host too. He is an eternal being. He's not limited by space and time like we are. Yes. And our Holy Father... He just reactivated these courts. The rivers of fire came back. So guess what? Time is short. In the case of Mike Parson, and all governors and all criminal investigators that did what Mark, Mike Parson did on any level, Father, we find them guilty, guilty, guilty. And may their punishments, may their karma, be their curses. Abracadabra, Star Seed United, you know what to do. Give your father praise and glory for giving us the power to fight against these wicked, wicked entities, those fallen ones that has had control over serpent seed. May serpent seed at large be cursed with all of that karma, all of that evil in the justice scales abracadabra father we know that all of that evil has been processed and sitting in the justice scales and we ask you to take all of that evil and inflict serpent seed at large for all of the atrocities done against your children throughout the ages abracadabra may their lives be full of misery disappointment, disappointment, helplessness, poverty, and incarceration. Abracadabra, may they be despised by all men. Abracadabra, reverse the curse, Father. Reverse the curse. Reverse the curse, Father. Abracadabra, and for all of our brothers that are now incarcerated, some of them facing a death penalty, some of them facing life that has been framed, Father. We ask that you free them. Abracadabra, send them supernatural help. Send them supernatural strength so that they can pass their test too and give them great victory and let them live, Father, as you take serpent seed down, Abracadabra. And as for the Innocence Projects, Father, they have a lot of goodness in their justice scales. And we ask that you give them mercy in the time of judgment and bless them. Abracadabra. And for our brother, Marcellus Williams, let him be a witness 
Let him be a witness to Mike Parsons, Parsons, especially to his punishments. Let the world see it. Let the world, let all the worlds and the universe see him suffer for what he did. Serving that wicked fallen one, that disloyal one that was casted down into this dimension to test us. That wicked, evil, black-faced demon, Father. We rebuke you in the name of our Messiah under his authority, the King and the God of this earth. We rebuke you for all of your works. And may you go into everlasting torment outside of this universe, here, now, and forevermore. Abracadabra, Father, we ask that it be so. We ask that it be so, Father. And may we receive all of the love and respect that we deserve as your children, your starseed children, Father. Abracadabra, abracadabra. We ask that our bro star, Marcellus Williams, get his accolades today because his mission was complete. He went through a testing even greater than Job. And he stayed before your face. He never lost his connection. May he receive all of his blessings and rest in his glory with happiness with all of the other ancestors that suffered the same in their testing in this dimension. Abracadabra. Brother Marcellus Williams, may you rest in peace, joy, happiness, abundance, magic throughout eternity. Abracadabra, Father, I know you're with him right now telling him how proud you are of him and how you heard him every single time and how he passed the test with flying colors and conquered the black-faced demon. Yes, all praise is Yahweh, Star Seed United. If I left anything out of this judgment, please feel free to put it in the comment section or just tell the Father he hears you. This message is going into the universe. It's going into the ethers. It's going straight directly into the Father, the creator of all things ears. So put your judgments in the comment section. As far as Mike Parson and everybody like him throughout the ages, guilty, guilty, guilty. Yes. Abracadabra. May their karma be their curses. Father, we ask you to open up that Pandora's box on Mike Parson and all the other living governors on this planet that participated in the conspiracy to murder one of our bro stars and sisters, Abracadabra. Once again, Father, we thank you for allowing us to come into your holy courts in Zion, and we ask you to judge this matter and bring justice, your justice, to this world. And Mother, we thank you for your guidance. We thank you for all of this wisdom to understand. We thank you for the comforting that you gave us in our souls, knowing that there is more to this than meets the eye. And we pledge our allegiance to our big brother Messiah, the King and the God of this earth. Star Seed United, you know what to do. Give him praise and glory. Honor and adore your mother and pledge your allegiance to our big brother Messiah, the king and the god of this earth, Abracadabra. Brother Marcellus Williams, king, conqueror extraordinaire, we give you honor on today for passing the test, for completing your mission. Rest in peace, rest in glory, Rest in victory. Abracadabra.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Star Seeds United. Star Seeds United for life. Yes, we have many victories. Thank you so much for your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Until the next Judgment News, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom. <laughs>